Hi, you're welcome to Allogenous Ideas. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to code, how to write HTML, CSS, and JavaScript on your iPhone or your iPad. So let's get into it. The first thing you want to do is to go to the App Store. You look for a particular application called Coda. So this is the application over here, this first one. So you can just download it. You download. After downloading, you open it. Okay, so just open Coda. So you can see this is an empty application now. The first thing I want to do is to create a folder, say a project or something. You create a folder. But before we create the folder, let me show you some other things. You can see import files from file. So this is quite self-explanatory. Open file from files, photo import, new file, new folder. So you can create a new file directly or a new folder. But I will create a new folder, then the first set of test files, I'll put it inside. So I can go to new folder. What will be the name of my folder? Let me say um, first... Um, app or something so i'll create it so in this first app i'll now create a new file let's say the name of the new file is first dot html okay so you create it now if i open first dot html you can see it's an empty it's an empty file so if you want you can just start writing your html directly but to save time for the test html we are going to be writing i wrote it somewhere i'll just copy it and i'll paste it here okay you can see this html that um i wrote before now the title is going to be testing html it has a paragraph um a paragraph element then a button so this is first js a script that i wrote but i've not linked it yet so what you will expect is the empty html page but um, i'm supposed to add something to this doc type over here so this is the doc type yes now hide my keyboard and i can view this if i want to view it you can see this eye icon over here so you can see the HTML is working just fine. I'm zoomed in right now. So you can see this is the HTML over here, which is exactly what we did. So that is how basically how you can write the HTML. Now, the CSS that I did, um, I can just go back, create a new file here. So use the plus icon, create a new, no, it shouldn't be a new folder. It should be a new file. Create a new file. I can say first dot css dot css create. So you can see the CSS file over here. If I should open it, so I can just say um, I can come with this pound sign over here. Now I'm trying to select the paragraph element, and I know the ID of the paragraph element it is text. So this text, I'll come up with my holy brackets, return, come to the middle. I'm trying to go to the line two, okay? So put a tab space in, then I can say color is what? Red or something. So don't forget to close this, okay? now that i'm done with this i can just i can simply go back open my html so um you can see everything is in the same folder so this is supposed to reflect you can see the color is now red initially the color was black but now the color is red so you can see the way i linked that css together with the html over there so now to write the JavaScript, all you have to do is do the same thing you did with the CSS. You go back, then after going back, you create a new file. You can call the new file, no, not a new folder. Create a new file. The name of the file can be first 
Node.js create now you need to notice something here i linked my css over here using this link tag this on line 5 i linked my css i linked my js on line 10 so you can see it over here so that's the reason why the css worked straight away so this is the js now um i wrote the js somewhere i would like to just copy and paste it to save time okay so this is my javascript file first.js you can just come here paste it you can see i'm saying that let the button equal to document or get element by id so this bt and over here is the id of the button in that file so the text is the text over here is the id of the text the paragraph element so i'm basically selecting the button and the paragraph then i'm saying if you click on the button then change the color of the text to green that is all so now the next thing i can do is go back open my html and you can see i've linked to the script tag in line 10. so what can i do i can just go and review it if i should scroll come back up you can see if i should click on change text color you can see it is working very fine this is a sample text so that is how you can um use javascript in your in the text editor so thank you very much i'll see you in the next video don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next one bye for now